Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk about the rest. Boss Talk. Tell me who's hot, who's not. Who really oh, you on a top? Who now? got they on shop? The hustle don't stop. Nope. Same old shit. Wow. Grinding. You know ain't nothing changed one bit. It's a you. Check it, man. Check it, check it, check it. This is a unique host. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none. You know my dad walk on. Man, hold up, man. Hey, man, guys, man. It's been, really, to be honest with you, this show was one that I kind of, you know, I was like, I thought about it. I said, I better, you know, I better talk about this uh, <laughs> today. It, it's really a serious subject when you think about it, man. Uh, me and Miss Jamaica, we sit around and talk about things sometimes, and we really hate to see our young men fall in, you know, the entertainers that you see uh, gunned down and all type of different things uh, that's going on with our people. So we wanted to bring on my guy, man, my my security. the guy. Who, our security. Well, yeah, well, you know, everything, me and you won, so it's kind of the same You're going to stop saying that me and I and stuff. Just say I, we and our. You know Start what, we cutting this part out. Ah, we got to cut this part out. I got out. it on my camera over oh. there. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut out all you want. I already got Damn, it. Damn, I should have. Uh, well, man, Chris Justice is here, man. J Chris Justice, man, from Justice Global United Service, LLC. Man, this guy's been uh, with me. Uh, we we uh, we family, might as well say. Um, and it's just something about having a professional to speak to you. The, uh, uh, Chris, just give us a little rundown. like Because you was, you was in... Uh, Desert Storm, you was in uh, Operation Opera, uh, Iraqi Freedom and uh, Operation Enduring Freedom. Wow. And I served combat and uh, many uh, peacekeeping missions also. With both branches or? or well, just with the Army. With the Army? Yeah, the Air Force, I didn't do too much. Okay, but the, the, the thing is that when you see all these entertainers going through the things that they're going through, man, uh, what is the key element that jumps out to you? Well, they don't have real professional security for what I'd be seeing. And that's what they need to start hiring, you know. It's not going to be like um, make you them weak or anything to have security. Like, you know, if you look at mo many other uh, celebrities, they have real professional security. Mm -hmm. And that's going to save your life. You know, you might have to spend some money, but it's going to save your life because you will have a professional that knows what to do, when to do and to protect your life. Okay, wow. you talk about real security. Um, you're talking real trained security. Yes. Because you know a lot of these entertainers or people who walk around and say they have security will put their homeboys in a security outfit and be like, hey, you know, that's my bodyguard. Especially if they look big or tall or whatever. That's intimidating. But that's almost like you having a fake camera at your house just to ward off people from robbing your house. But... People, some people can know that's a fake camera. Yeah. Just like when you have a fake security guard when put to the test, like what happened in Houston the other day. I'm not saying he had a fake security guard or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying stuff like that that happened. It could have. So you're telling me with a real security guard or with a uh, trained security guard, things could have went differently. Well, it's like a, it's not going to be a security guard. It's going to be like a PPO. Person protection officer. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So he's not going to be in a security uniform. You know, that's level three security. So if you got to, and everybody know what a professional security looks like. And when you say officer, that doesn't mean that he's a police officer. No, he's not a police officer. Because, you know, some people feel like I don't want to deal with the police. Yeah. So that's, I just want to make sure you, you know, you elaborate on that, that it's not actually a police officer just because you call him a, an officer. Yeah, a police officer is not going to be a bodyguard. Or, okay. Or PPO is the okay. professional term, person protection officer. You got to go through a security company, an actual security company, to hire a PPO to protect you. Okay. And that's what you need. That person is going to be very professional and highly trained to protect you. That person know what to do, when to do, the totaler circumstances, like when to pour their gun, how to use their gun to protect your life. You know, so that's what that person is going to do, protect your life. That person is not going to be fist fighting. That person is going to be there to protect your life. Wow. I just, um, when I uh, when I look at what, uh, what I seen the other day, you know, things are still coming out. People are, there's cameras everywhere. Um, people are saying this is happening, that's happened. But one of the things that were rumored to have happened, and you've seen it on cameras that's been revealing, says that, one of the guys had had a uh, pretty much his eyes closed when he was shooting. 
Um, what is what? What does that say if, if a person just through what you have experienced, being that you've been in war and all kind of different things, when a person close their eyes and shoot a gun, what does that? What did what stands out to you in that? The person was scared, not trained, and not there to protect any life. Because when you're a professional, you to you there to protect the person that you're with and everybody else around them. So you're gonna shoot. If you're gonna shoot, you're gonna look at the person that you're shooting at and point the weapon at that person only. Wow. If you're protecting somebody's life. So that person was not trained and was scared. How hard is it when you when when, when a group of people like that are gathered around to protect an interested or, or one of your clients? If if there's a circle of group of men just hanging out how would you even assess something like that? Because we've been together and I see how you carry yourself. You you always set up in a way to where you understand what's going on with the situation. How would you have assessed that? Well, for one, I'm with my client. You know what I'm saying? If I'm protecting that client, I'm beside my client or in front of my client or I'm, I got eyes on my client. You know what I'm saying? I'm not far away. You know, and then when I am have to shoot, I'm looking at the person that I'm shooting, you know, with the totality of the circumstances. Yeah, man. You but in a case where you say um, you're hired to protect. Okay, let's go back to the case of um, of takeoff and Quavo, right? Say you were hired to protect both of them, but and both of them is moving around. You're saying you're hired, and they're not actually together. They're in the same location, but not actually like right side by side that you can protect both of them at the same time. How do you assess that? Well, I wouldn't do it by myself. You know, you would have, uh, like, it would be like two or four. You know what I'm saying? Like, I would have other people there because you can't protect two people. Multi people, yeah. okay. You have to have more than one person. So one officer or PPO is only really, not say allowed, but to be effective, you should only protect one person at a time. Exactly. Because okay. you want to have eyes on the person that you are actually protecting. You know, you can't just scan and scan and scan. You know, you have to be there with that person. It's not like the movie Bodyguard where Kevin Costner, he really protected anybody and everybody in that household, really. Yes, Whitney was his main client, but he was also protecting her son as well. Remember, you said a movie. A still. <laughs> you know, so that's, a movie is not real life. Okay, but a lot of people look at yeah. movies, rap songs, all of this stuff, yeah. entertainment, period, and thinking it's real life when people add and subtract from all of this entertainment but industry. But when you look at what Justice Global United Services bring to the uh, forefront, you're dealing with a professional, uh, uh, established uh, security company, and this guy being the CEO, and he having a group of guys that go out to really assess taking care of their clients. This is not the bodyguard. This is not a TV show. We are dealing with real life circumstances. There is no cut camera in action. And that's why, you know, when you look at these guys and you see guys, young guys out there, I mean, you know, sometimes their pants hanging with the stick. That's what they call it, the mm -hmm. stick hanging out. And, and it's not in a situation where you would be here to be professionally protecting someone in a way to where you're, we've dealt with so many different celebrities. We know the ones who are really coming in and securing the premises versus the one who's hanging out and saying, I'm here in case it jump off and I'm your homeboy. Mm -hmm. This is something we have to keep in mind as professionals. These guys are millionaires and there's no reason why they shouldn't get the right type of security in order to uh, uh, protect uh, uh, the value of their company because that's what they have as well. These entertainers have companies and they're entrepreneurs and there's no reason why they shouldn't, just like a bank or any other business, protect what they're uh, establishing in a professional manner. Exactly. So um, with all of the things that's been going on, because we've been hearing so much, um, what should I say, um, guesses as to what really happened in Houston this weekend with Takeoff and Quavo and so forth. From all the things we've heard, because nobody really knows until it comes out, truly. Um, if you were there, what would have been different? 
Okay, for one, the person that Quavo was talking to wouldn't have been that close to him. And that person wouldn't have been that comfortable talking to him. You know what I'm saying? Because he would have had his professional security right there beside him or very close to him to make that person not be that close or that comfortable to be having an argument with him. And that's why I continue to tell these people, hire you real professional bodyguards, not your homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to the law, you need a PPO, personal protection officer, to protect you. So you go through a security company and ask for a PPO. And that, that will save your life and anybody else's life. Wow. I definitely, definitely agree with that. So Okay, so sometimes it'll be it can be a friend because we've had many cases on, on here couple cases on here where it was somebody that the person knew who end up shooting a person or end up you know using their stick to you know um lead the person to their demise don't look at me like that you said it but anyway um so when you saying that the person you would stop the person from being so close to to him but if he is a friend and started off being a friend but i'm in your face and we had a disagreement or you know it turned into an argument or whatever I'm already your friend, so I'm in front of your face. You wouldn't have stopped him from being in front of his face if he was a so-called friend or he knew him. My, once again, if you're a professional, your job is to protect that client. So whether it's your friend or whatever, my job is to protect you and keep people away from you. You know what I'm saying? That's what real bodyguards do. And they don't just let their guards down. No, not at all. They're being professional and they know what they're there to do. Exactly. So, and, and I remember asking you about after Dolph had, had gotten killed when me and you were talking and you was like, if you'd have been there, that wouldn't have never happened that way because you've already been set watching for anything that may come up as if to harm anyone because you're protecting Dolph, yes. right? You're scanning the environment and you're looking for danger. You know, that's what you're always doing if you're a professional. So your homeboy cannot be your bodyguard. The, your homeboy doesn't have the training. Hire the bodyguard. Wow. The person protection officer. Man, thank you so much, man. I just wanted to stop and highlight the situation on, you know, having the right security around as you be in an entertainment. I love all these young kids. And I'm, you know, just saying, man, we got to do something to establish a correction in the way that these guys are moving when it come down to uh, being out late at night and dealing with different situations. Okay. And let me explain this to them about the so-called security. Okay, let me explain something to everybody out there. When you're looking at security, somebody in uniform, that doesn't mean they are a bodyguard. A bodyguard is a level four or a security contractor like myself, Justice Globe Protection Services. You know, so I am, you know, a level four. You know, I'm level four and I'm also a PI. So I can travel with you as a professional bodyguard to protect your life, you know, or whoever life you want me to protect, you know. So I have had the training, the skills through, you know, through the military and in the business, you know, so I will protect your life. You know, you might have to spend money, but your life will be protected. Wow. Man, thank you so much, man, for coming on Boss Talk 101. Thank you for always uh, protecting my life and my wife's life. Exactly. Uh, Miss Jamaica, let's make sure we get that in there. Exactly. Yes, family. Okay. <laughs> and man, hey, man, thank you so much, man. Make sure you guys, if you need uh, any security, um, you may as well reach out. Justice Global United Services. Uh, LLC, these guys are dope. They have been working with me. I I've been with this guy for a long time, most of my life. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I know already what he's bringing to the table, man. And I just want to say thank you, man. Exactly. And it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.